Hello and welcome. This is Kippy from KippyAtHome.com. Welcome to my home and to my channel. I hope y'all will hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing and ring the bell. Tonight we're going to be crafting up the prettiest trinket tray you've ever seen. And it, you guessed it, it's a $1 uh, piece of art from the Dollar Tree. So let's get started. Hey, here are our surprise. And I'm going to start out with this little sign that I got at the Dollar Tree. You guessed it for a dollar, but we need to remove that cute little arrow, but we will be keeping it. So Olivia's using a five in one tool. And then we used a little bit of sandpaper to get the rest of it off. And now she's gonna show you how to do the balls. So I'm gonna be taking these one and a half inch wood balls and we're gonna be making one side of them flat. So to do this, we're going to be using a belt sander. So we're just going to turn it on and we're going to be pressing the ball down onto the sandpaper. You'll want to do this until all balls are even with how much of the end is knocked off. Now that we've got our balls completely perfectly flat on just one area, that area that's flat is going to actually go down right down onto the front, which is now going to be the bottom. And this is going to be a tray, so we're not going to paint this. We're actually going to sand away those corners. So I'm uh, going to show you how easy this is with just a piece of sandpaper. All right, well, she's sanding. I'm going to be here painting these wood balls. Um, try to hold on to them best you can. <laughs> Obviously, I can't. Um, so I'm just going to be using some black acrylic paint, which we will also be using to paint the main part of the tray. All right, I'm going to use some upcycling or recycling a paper plate that's clean but we're using it for crafting and I'm making a little straight edge there using my project itself cutting that straight edge and then I'm going to fold the paper plate to use it as a guide for the corners so when I apply the little feet the little balls as the feet on our tray that they're all placed evenly on the tray All right, so now that our balls are all wet, we're gonna dry them up. I like to use my Wagner heat gun to kind of speed up the process. Um, I can do several thin coats a lot faster than one thick coat with it. All right, I was getting a little impatient, so the paint was out, so I thought I'd start painting on our tray, starting on the inside, but since Olivia's the expert, I am gonna let her finish painting this. So here we go, Olivia, you take it away. Okay, so I'm just gonna be using the same acrylic paint that I used on the balls. And so first I painted the inside and the edges before moving on to the sides of the tray. Again, working in thin coats and drying in between. All right, I'm just doing a little test here on the balls and the ones that the first one, maybe it is, I don't know which one it is, but one of them had a little bit of paint on the flat part. So I thought I would sand it away. It got a little bit of dust on there. I'll use paper towel and clean it up in a second, but just trying to, you know, extra, I call it insurance policy on adhesion. Am I calling it the right thing? Yeah. All right. All right, guys, you know what I'm talking about. So the glue will stick. All right, so I'm gonna be just touching up with one last coat of paint on the inside. I'm using my Wagner heat gun and you can see that just dried the paint up very quickly. Now we're getting to the bling bling. All right, so I'm using this foil adhesive. This is by Artistic Painting Studio. Um, so basically I'm just gonna be painting it with this little paintbrush along the all four edges of our tray. Um, 
So we're gonna give that a little bit to dry until the glue becomes clear and is tacky. So I'm gonna be taking my roll of holographic foil from Artistic Painting Studio again, and I'm gonna be placing that over the area that I want to be shiny. So I'm gonna be taking my little scraper from Cricut and I'm going to be rubbing all over the surface. Satisfied with the amount of burnishing, I'm going to be taking the corner and peeling away the plastic carrier sheet on top, revealing the foil that is stuck to the side. From here, I'm gonna do the other sides. As you can see, I'm moving down the roll, I'm doing each side. So now for the edges, I am going to again be painting the foil adhesive onto the tray where I want it to stick. So instead of doing the all over shine, I'm going to be actually using the little bits left over from the sides and I'm going to just rub those down onto the edges to create a more like, textured, random look. Now this turned out perfect. We wanted to share with you about our source and this is Artistic Painting Studio. And these are, what would you call, those are not brayers, but they're, they're rollers. Yeah, rollers. Are they rubber or what are they? I think so, because they're like a okay, or I don't want to be stupid, but how did we get the glue on there that we were rolling? Do you remember how that looked? Was it in a well, tray or? I think it was in a tray. Like but you it, would do for like a house paint. Yeah, this is really groovy. We were at Haven and we met this lady and Olivia's now going to um, give you some more info on this, but that's called Moroccan... Damask. 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 Um, the pattern that we did on these bags was just something we practiced and there's all kinds of colors and whatever. We'll have that available for you so you can have all that, but there's all kinds of shapes, but you can do anything with that. Okay, checking my little corners there. I'm going to open up my brand new E6000 Low Odor. I've never used the Low Odor and I guarantee you there is like a no odor, so you can definitely use this inside use my little corner guide and I'm gonna put my little balls my little feet on this area that's there I've sanded it holding it in there and letting it dry all right that was a quick and one dollar craft there we had the foil and the adhesive was donated to us and then we use leftover items and we have the cutest tray and look at that holographic Libby did a great job Oh, that turned out super cute. Y'all don't forget to give us the thumbs up, ring the bell, and leave us a comment about what you're working on this summer. All right, so make sure you check out my blog at kippyathome.com. We'll have all the information about all the other crafts we're doing this summer, and I'll have a supply list in the description below. I appreciate y'all's support, and I hope you have a blessed and wonderful summer. See you soon.